now is the time to really practice how to move out of fear and into love. That's what I want to talk about today. I want this to be a really short video to just go over what I feel is going on with this whole awakening and the whole COVID virus and all of that stuff. But it doesn't even matter particularly what the event is that's bringing up all this fear. It's the same for all fear. You want to move out of fear and into love. Okay, so I'm Linda Armstrong, in case you don't already know. I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And my website is lovemylife.coach because that's what it's all about. Loving your life, living in this high vibration and learning your truth that you are love, that you are light, and that you are a creator and you have the power to choose a higher vibration such as love, right? So I really wanted to point out how a lot of the fear that you might be feeling, especially right now, because at this time I'm filming this, we're going through this um, self-quarantine and COVID-19 virus. And so a lot of the fear is not even your own. You're just picking up all of the fear outside around you. And many people may not be aware of just how much energy they draw in from outside of themselves. Right. So that's a big part of this whole thing, like tuning in, going within. So when you're having the self quarantine, you have less distractions in your life. And it's a time to really look at yourself. And even if you don't know that you're actually doing that on a spiritual level, on an energy level, you are. And I've talked about that in a few of my other videos because I had noticed how these energies were coming up, even though they didn't make sense to what was actually going on in my physical reality. <laughs> They were bringing up these old energies, of course, so that I can clear them because that's what's going on. There's a major purging going on on the planet. Now, Mother Earth has been doing this in many different ways with with all sorts of things. It could be fires, volcanoes, things with the ocean. The, the Earth will release energy in her own magnificent way, right? And we do the same thing. We're just like the earth as above, so below. We can look at it that way, right? We're here on top of the earth and we can look at things, changes going on within the earth. And it all has to do with the great awakening and the energy of the planet rising rapidly. And we are keeping up with that. And we don't even know sometimes, at least most, a lot of people aren't even aware of this, that a lot of these difficult things that are coming up in their life at this time is all part of them being able to finally let it go and move into their true vibration, that high vibration of love. So to move out of fear, you wanna just see, okay, is this my own? Is this mine? And even when you ask, does this belong to me? And just asking the question makes you feel a little lighter, then it's like, oh, wait a minute, maybe it isn't all mine. <laughs> maybe it's true that I'm telepathically, telepathically picking up on all of these energies of the masses out there because that's the way it works everything is connected we are all basically one connected to one uh source field so mm, okay i want to make this video be kind of short and sweet so, so i'll just say that so you're the creator you can choose to move out from fear to love whenever you want and if you have difficulty doing that, because the fear feels so heavy, let's start with, does this even belong to me? Even if you have something going on, like I know I have something going on that's pretty big in my life and it could, I could get sucked into fear, but I choose not to because I know I cannot create from the energy of fear. Nothing good is created from a lower vibration. You just have more junky stuff connect to it. it makes it take longer, right? So instead even pretend to be in a higher vibration right or just do something fun i've done lots of videos on that how you can shift your vibration uh, i'm holding this rock here because to me it's like shaped like a heart <laughs> so i put a little uh, so it's just gesso i put a white heart on there but i'm going to paint it now and uh, i'm just gonna have fun with that and that puts me in a great vibration right dancing puts you in a great vibration singing um 
gardening, just being out walking in nature will shift your vibration because that's what the earth, earth does. That's what all of those elements out there will do because they are of such a higher vibration. I mean, our animals, our pets are of a higher vibration. We pet them, we feel happy, right? Your cat sits on your lap. I know me, I can't move. I have to have everybody do everything for me because I don't want her to move. I want her to stay there. Um, you know, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you're a pet lover. So don't get stuck in the fear, right? Take this time. And even if you don't understand what's happening, just be with it. Okay, I'm really crabby today. I used to, okay, I feel really crabby. I don't know, is this mine? Does this belong to someone else? And you feel a little lighter. You're like, oh, okay, maybe it wasn't mine. You might even think, oh, I was just talking to so-and-so on the phone and they were so down and they had all this stuff happening in their life. And you start to take it on in your own. We do that. We're telepathic. We're sponges. We'll absorb energy. So one way... If you know you're really sensitive energy, I like to just build a bubble of light all around me, you know? Build this bubble of light, fill it up, and just, you know, put, sometimes I put a protective coating around it, like chain mail, or you could put a silver lining, deflects away anything that's not love, um, to hold your vibration steady. You know, the more awareness you put to staying in this higher vibe, the easier it is. And the more you see the good results from shifting your energy into a higher vibe, um, the more, the more it becomes second nature to do it. Well, the more you start to notice yourself before your vibration gets too low and you can then shift up and out. Um, I do videos about sending love telepathically. That, when, I, when I'm sending love telepathically, oh my God, I'm so filled with love. That raises my vibe. And not only does it raise my vibe, I'm putting love out there. So since everything is energy and we're all picking up on all sorts of things, let's put out this high vibration of love, right? Let's, more of us, put out this vibration of love to drown out that vibration of fear coming out of the media. Wouldn't that be an awesome game to play, right? I mean, we're creators. We're here to have fun, to play games, to experience. And, you know, a lot of times that experience includes things that don't feel so good. And that's all part of purging that because that energy that comes up that doesn't feel so good is probably not a brand new energy. It's probably something that you've experienced before along your entire history going into other lives, etc. So, yeah. Play with choosing to move from fear into love. From fear into playfulness. From fear into... Um, gratitude like there's so many things you can do to shift your vibration yeah that's all i'll say for today because uh i feel like i might start talking too much and i want this to be a short video just to get that point across choose love do oh <laughs> touching my rock again find things to do that make you feel good notice that you know maybe this fear isn't really all yours let go of some of it you don't have to hold it it's not your job to hold fear. It's actually more your job to be the light and to send the love because that's your true nature. So that's all for today. I will see you on another video. Bye.